Let's face it, SEO is too technical for the average person. What a load of rubbish. That's just a myth that some agencies and experts like to claim. Yeah, sure, there's some complex bits and techie bits and other bits that just baffle the best of us. But we're here to share some of the guiding principles that are fundamental to doing SEO well. It's time to consume some organic goodness because Wednesdays are about to get giant. Hello, my name is Luke and welcome to Giant Wednesdays, the only place to be to discover the wonderful world of digital marketing. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and post your comments below. SEO, one of the many three letter acronyms in the digital marketing world. And it's all about getting free organic traffic to your website from a search engine. SEO stands for search engine optimization. The clue is in the name really. You're going to have to optimize your websites to appear in search engines all with the aim of increasing the quantity and quality of traffic to your website. Before we get into the nuts and bolts, it's really important to understand what Google's mission is. Google provides a service to its users, and if Google provides a bad service, people would simply Google Bing and start using Bing as their primary search engine. But what is a good service, and why should you care? Let me frame that slightly differently. If you were looking to buy a product or a service from a company, what values or attributes would you want from them? You'd want them to be a good company, and that would be expressed with values like knowledgeable, passionate, up-to-date and trustworthy, right? If they were, and provided you a solution to your problem, you're more than likely to part with your cash. Google is no different. Ultimately, it's trying to match you, the searcher, with good companies in order for you to have a good experience. So, the secret to SEO and ranking well? Show Google that you're a good company. How to do that can be done on focusing on a few key areas. There are lots of technical areas that could be either helping or hindering your site from ranking well. So without further ado, here are a few of the basics to look out for. First off, metadata or signposts. When we're talking about metadata, we're talking about page titles, meta descriptions, H1s and H2s. Okay, okay, I've gone a bit techie straight away, haven't I? Okay, let's bring this back to reality for a second. What's the first thing that you see? And then the second, and then the third. Is it this, then this, then this? So as humans, we have to prioritize the information around us. Otherwise, if we considered it all equal, it'd be just overwhelming. Well, Google is no different. It reads pretty much every element of every page on every site on the web. It too needs to prioritize the information on the page to help make sense of it. Metadata is a way that Google can do just that. And it's also an opportunity for us to signpost to Google the most important things on the page to help it. That's right, we're still in control of the robots. Well, kind of. Page titles, meta description, H1 or heading one tags are all areas to optimize with relevant keywords and explain to Google what it will find on that page, all without spamming it full of keywords, of course. There's loads more detail around this topic. So if you want to find out more, subscribe, ring the bell, and be alerted to when we post more content on this topic. Moving on to number two, keyword focus. So now I said to write descriptive metadata on the page. You're probably wondering where to start with building it out. Well, the best place to start is with keyword research. People search for a wide variety of things online, but some phrases are used more than others. By conducting some keyword research, it will help you understand what people are looking for and subsequently should help you with lots of aspects of your marketing, not just your digital. Once you know what keywords people search for, look at how you can update your metadata, content, site structure to include these terms. The most important terms identified should have their own page, have a good amount of relevant content that focuses on the term and variations of it. Again, guys, remember, this is not 1998. Do not spam the page with keywords. Use them naturally in sentences so users can read and love it, but also so that Google knows what you're offering. Number three, links and outreach. Links are a classic controversy in the SEO world. Firstly, when we're talking about links, we're talking about the ones that come from other websites to yours, otherwise known as inbound links. Every link that you get back from someone else's website is essentially a trust value. It passes some value back to your site. So based on that, you might think the more links, the better, right? Well, not quite. Not all links are equally valuable. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, about six years ago, any link was good. The more, the merrier, in fact. However, this led to some companies buying lots of links or getting links from link farm sites, the types of sites set up with the sole purpose to link back to other sites. Going back to our initial point about Google trying to rank good companies, and this sort of activity isn't the kind of thing a good company would do or at least it wouldn't help Google identify good from bad. The key now is to get high quality links from trustworthy, relevant sources. To do this, you need to deliver something of interest and value in order to get people to link back to it. Again, this is a topic we're gonna to go into in more detail during another episode of Giant Wednesdays. You know what to do. Number four, load speed. 
This one is pretty straightforward, but super important. How many of you have visited a website only to sit there staring blankly at the page whilst it struggles to load? How annoying is that? And it's certainly not a good customer experience. Well, Google hears you, and load speed is something that they build into their ranking factors. A key point is also that mobile speed is more important than desktop load speed due to more people using the web on a mobile device. Check the description below for links to some mobile testing sites that you can use to check how fast your site loads, as well as information on what is causing it to potentially be loading slowly. Spoiler alert, nine times out of 10 is probably a massive image on your homepage carousel. Moral of the story, get optimizing for load speed. And finally, number five, HTTPS secure certificate. Keeping this one nice and simple because it is quite a techie sounding thing, get a secure certificate for your website. If you have HTTPS, then you're fine. If you don't, get a secure certificate. And remember, Google wants to trust you. And what better way than to show that you're trustworthy than with something that brands your site is secure. And that's me done with a brief overview of the principles of SEO and some techie style things that you can do to make sure that you're appearing first when a customer comes looking. We'll go into more detail on all the points mentioned in this video in future Giant Wednesdays, so make sure you hit the subscribe button for their release. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another Giant Wednesday.